Down this narrow street in Hung Shui, a doorway leads to a small courtyard of the snuff bottle factory of Mr. Lee Dong Lei and his wife. Initially, inside painted snuff bottles were made either from natural rock crystal or blown glass. In the early 1980s, Wang Guan Yu recommended the use of a man-made rock crystal, a very optically clear glass that is very similar to what would be used to grind telescope lenses. This small factory receives this glass in bricks. In this courtyard, these bricks are stacked outside, waiting their turn in the hands of these artful carvers. Inside the plastic covered door are five small rooms with electric motors and dangling light bulbs powered by an array of electrical wire draped across the ceiling. The first room, about 8 by 10 feet, is merely an entrance area with one small wooden table and chair. To the rear of this room is another small room the floor covered with various shapes of snuff bottles and stages of production. The work of carving goes on in three only slightly larger adjacent rooms. The first room contains five persons. It is here that the blocks of glass are sawed to the appropriate size and the outside of the bottle is carved to the desired shape. There may be measuring instruments somewhere, but they are not visible and certainly seldom used. The carving is by sight and touch and the skill of experience. In another small room, two additional carvers drill and hollow out the inside of the bottle. From here it goes back to the first room where the inside is filled with iron filings, grit, and small steel balls and placed in an agitator to frost the inside of the bottle. This helps the inside of the bottle hold paint so that the peeling of paint seen in older works does not occur.
In the third and last working room are two polishing wheels. The pressure these two men put on the bottle and polishing grit against this wheel is a testament to the strength of this artificial rock crystal. Lee Dong Lei's wife cut the finishing details and is shown in these pictures cutting the foot of the bottle. In all, these 10 persons produce an average of 20 bottles per day. While we marvel at the finished painted bottle, often the skill of these persons at their craft is overlooked. 